I know I wasn't on yesterday. I needed to take a break. So um, this is the sign we're going to be working with today. Home is where the crickets sing. I love this design. I just, and you know, I'm not a pink girl, but in playing with it, this is the only thing. <laughs> hey, Kathy, it's going to be a spooky one. My phone just flew off the mount. The mount broke. So, yeah, crazy day. Hey, I'm going to show you a few of my new signs, okay? First of all, <laughs> this is my cutest sign yet. Can you all see that? Uh, maybe not. There we go. Okay, this way. I'm doing little dog tags. I have circles and I have bones. Is that not cute? I have all different designs. Very lightweight. I could do both sides. So we have those now. Okay, this is one of my newest signs. What happens at camp stays at camp. I thought that one was cute. <laughs> and then this one. Welcome to our home. So that's one of my new ones. This is the one. I like this one. I can personalize this. This is a small 8 inch circle and I can personalize it to whatever name you want to put on there. If you're a camper or you know somebody that's a camper. Or we can go big or little or we can go big. Check this one out. I just did for a customer. I put all their names on the marshmallows and I even got their two dogs names in the paw prints. Bear and I forget what the other one was. Diesel. Bear and Diesel. Story, s'mores, laughs and more. So that's a personalized camping sign. And it's really cool. We could put two holes in here and you could hang it on the outside of your camper, your tent, wherever. That's a 12 incher. That's the biggest one I've done yet. Let's see what I did. I imposed this on top of the tree ring. Isn't that cute? Okay. Then we got one more. Check out my new bunting signs. This is a new design. See how it goes down here and then comes up? A new cut. So those are my new signs for the week. Which one do you like? I, I love this one. She is so super excited about this one to put it at their campsite. If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it because I'm not normally on now, so some people are not going to find me. So we went with a lot of camping signs this time. I'm trying to keep them from getting scratched. I always lay them on top of each other and I scratch them all up. So those are the new ones. I have more coming. I've actually started on some fall and some Christmas and some Halloween. So. Oh, thank you. All right, so we're going to be working with Home is Where the Crickets Sing. I've got an oval grapevine wreath here. So we're going to put some mesh on it. It's kind of like, this isn't really, it's burlap, but it's not burlap. So I don't know what it is, <laughs> but we're going to use it. <laughs> All right, so what I'm trying to figure out, I think... I think I'm going to put the sign at the bottom and then are you guys seeing okay or do you need me to like bring you in some now that my phone won't stay on the thing 
Is that better? Or do I need to position the camera back a little? There. Oh, that's awesome, Vicki. If you want a big one or a little one, just let me know. Um, the big ones are 25. The little ones are 12. So that kind of gives you an idea. So if you want to go for a little one with the uh, camping information, I can put names on it. I can put names on the um, marshmallows. I can put the name here. I can put when they started camping there. So whatever you want. Okay, all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually place some of this mesh. I'm going to do the ruffle method, and I think I'm going to have to use these. I did remember my needle today, my long needle. I just hope I don't stab myself with it. All right, how many of these? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay. I knew I cut, but I wasn't sure how many I would cut. I wanted to use up the last of a roll, so that's why I went with those. And I'm not a pink person, but I love how this sign turned out. I worked on that sucker for over an hour today because I couldn't get the right background for it. All right, so I'm going to start and do four up this way and then four up that way. And we're just doing the ruffle. I have them cut at 18 inches. Hoping this will disguise it. Well, I have other stuff we can put on it, so. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm just not a pink person. I'm just not, but I just, that's the only color that looked right with the, uh, with the print. So sometimes you got to mess with it a while. And I had it on there first and then I thought, nah. And of course, everything else I picked out did not look as striking as the pink did. There, so that's not showing up with it ruffled like that. Good. So do y'all have a good Memorial Day weekend? Ours was quiet. I had a meltdown, got a headache. <laughs> so I was in no shape to go live. Which ones did I use? Use these. I just think the sign is just going to make this whole thing pop. So what I'm going to do, I have one going this way. So the next one, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to do that so I got fringe sticking out all over. Yeah, I know what you did. You went shopping. <laughs> oh. This needle is nice, but it's so long that sometimes to get in smaller areas, it's a little bit difficult. So we're just going to push it down in there. So I can get one end in, but I can't get the other end. Oh, that's awesome, Vicki. Now, we haven't been under the same roof since Christmas either. So I hear you. That's an awesome feeling.
I know, right, Kathy? It's just crazy. And, and then you look at all the news reports and you see how crazy everybody was acting and it's like, what are you nuts? We just spent two and a half months trying to keep everybody safe and they could possibly undo it in one day. That's just not not good idea. And it's hard for those that have lost somebody, too. I don't know what my boys did. I didn't hear from either one of them. So, they're the nearest children we have. So, so I made a big old blueberry coffee cake, from cake. And my husband and I had some. I love this mesh. So we got one, two, three. Yep. It was good, in fact. <laughs> I have to confess, I'm so used to making a double batch because all the kids scarf it up so much that I made a double batch <laughs> and realized after I started putting it in the pan that oh no what did i make a double batch for it's just the two of us so i thought you know what i froze some today it'll be good i am i my kids love my crumb cake i have tried for years to duplicate my grandmother's recipe and she just uses her hands she used her hands she never used a measuring cup. Yes. I hear you, Vicki. Okay, that's looking really pretty. I just love the, the natural look of it. And I think it's going to enhance the sign. At least that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. So that one's going that way. So this one's going to go this way. And actually, it's not too bad putting these pipe cleaners through here. Oh, geez, Vicki. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't want to do anything to jeopardize. I'm going to be watching my grandson soon, so I don't want to do anything. I have an in-home store, and people are wearing masks when they come in. This is the first week I've really been open open to where they can come in usually i'm they can call their order in from the car and i bring it out to them but it's scary because this could come back to, to haunt us and i know it's messing with people's livelihood i get it i feel really horrible for some people but at the same time, we've got to be responsible as a nation. Hey, Joy. Welcome. Vicki, you might as well send me a message. I haven't even posted it yet. It's hot off the press. <laughs> so just tell me what you want. I can go in and set up an Etsy, um, you know, listing if you want, or just invoice you, whatever works. What'd you order, Joy? Thank you. I wish you could see it. I have my husband helping me now. He's, uh, he's in charge of shipping now. It's 
quite comical <laughs> to see this six four guy leaning over my little table yep it's still smoking you're right <laughs> oh cool thank you I have um, some new product coming in that is going to go along with the signs and if I don't get it in the next day or two I'm going to be all over that lady because I should have had it by now if she shipped it when she said she shipped it. So off in a different direction. You can't catch it. There we go. I know, you're right, Susan. It's a shame because they're going to ruin it for the rest of us. And there are several counties around us that are opening. And um, I said to my husband, you watch, the counties that aren't open, those people are going to be driving here to get haircuts. And sure enough, that's exactly what they're doing. I get it. But I don't know. Okay. So there we got the bottom base of the wreath done. These were ruffles cut at 18 inches. Okay. So what I plan to do is mount the sign about right there. Isn't that pretty against that? It's looking awesome. And then I'm going to put a big old bow up here. So, let's get our sign mounted. There you go. I cut my husband's hair. I cut my hair. I cut all the dog's hair. <laughs> it's funny because my son called me and he said, Mom, do we still have that Floby? Remember that Floby they sold a long time ago? He wouldn't know if I still had it. I said, no, I don't. But I said, I know. We looked it up. They're on back order right now. They're selling them like crazy. And they're going for like three, between three and five hundred on eBay. <laughs> it was a thing that you hooked up to your vacuum cleaner. I am loving this sign. I remember sitting on my grandmother's porch listening to the crickets at night. You mean this thing, Vicki? Now we're 
let's see if I can get this through like the pipe cleaner it's challenging If you want, I have a link. They sell them on Amazon. I can send you the link. I bought them from a company. I bought them in, quanti in quantity of three because I was kind of hoping to check out the quality and see how they were. And they're not bad, but it took them a month and a half to get them here. And I'm like, okay, I don't think I want to order more now because shipping takes so long. Okay. Dag nabbit. We're going to do it this way. I used to get one end in. I need a shorter needle is what I need. There's one. Hey Sue. Hey Nanny Dot. Welcome. Using one of my new signs. Home is where the crickets sing. Been thinking of you, Susie Q. All weekend, girl. Gotta tuck this under here. I'm gonna disguise it a little more. There we go. I'm going to tuck this one under. Let's see how that is. Nope, a little too tight. I always do that. Do you guys do that? Okay. All right, guys, I'll send it to you. They're actually, um, it's actually for jewelry, but it comes with an extra one of these too, and it just punches a nice tiny little hole. I will, after sometime this evening, I will get it on there for you. I'll post it right in the group on Robin's Re3. I use the E6000 and it holds up pretty good, but then sometimes it doesn't. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to stick this this way. Voila. I'll stick it through again on this side. No more malfunctions after that phone came at me. <laughs> Put it too tight again. There we go. All right, so there's our sign at the bottom. Doesn't that look pretty? against that color. All right, now we're going to make a bow. And LaVon's not on. Look at that. I bought my, I got a hook. I didn't mount it on there yet, but I got a hook. All right, now I'll show you my ribbon choices. Actually, scoot them down there and then I'll, thanks. Thank you. Okay, we've got a two and a half inch pink. Okay, I think I'm gonna just use this to hold my bow. I'm gonna be brave. And let me see. I'm gonna do about a six inch. No, an eight inch. I 
I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And my scissors are under here. And I may be posting some signs tomorrow on my Robin's um, Resigns and More page. I made some signs, and I'm, I'm, I want your opinion. I actually made a couple of signs, and I'm not sure which one I like best. So look for those, and if you wouldn't mind giving me your opinion. And for June, we're going to be holding another contest to see what you guys are looking for now as far as signs go. All right, then we got this farmhouse one. I'm gonna go a little bigger on my loops. Just a little bit. I'm only doing like three loops, two tails. This one, this is floral. Wow, this is so pretty. And this also has some of the green in it that's in the sign. And then we have this one. And I have this by the yard. I have this by the yard. I have this by the yard. Um, I can cut some of this by the yard. I'm actually been working on my taxes. <laughs> I, I got to get it done. Another new grandson on the way and a grandson soon to be coming to be watched. I got to get it done. And then we have this. And this I have on my site. It's for sale by the roll. Now what's got self tangled? There we go. But we've got stripes going in two different directions. Like I said, I'm not a pink girl, but I'm loving these colors. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, now, let me see. I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to use this one. Yeah. I like the white better. I just want it simple. Yes. Well, I used that mesh. I used that mesh in this one, too. I don't know if you can see this one. I have black mesh with burlap in it, and then I have some of that mesh in here, too. And I used some rope. A 
Now, I'm maybe it's because I'm a redhead. I'm, I redheads don't wear pink. I'm sorry, we just don't. <laughs> I don't, anyhow. <laughs> and maybe that's what it is. See, the tinsel tie is a lot easier to get through the grapevine than pipe cleaners or thin wire. Oh my gosh. I'm not done. We're going to jack it up a little. And these ribbons are really, really stiff. They have a nice, um, nice consistency to them. Firmness. I want that over here. I'm gonna have to turn it around. I'm trying to do it upside down and it's not working. So, um, let's get this over here. There we go. Hi. Hey, Dawn. Welcome. Hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. I hope nobody was looking for me last night. I just needed to take a break. Okay, so there's our bow. Now, I have some ficus. I have some cotton. And I have a little punch of pink. So, we're going to mess with that. I'm going to cut this down. So I can get three out of this. And then we have some cotton. This ficus. I've got two colors. I've got the dark and the light. The lighter color kind of goes with the sign. Now, sometimes if my sign doesn't sit the right way, I end up taking one of these little um, balls from the Dollar Tree and I end up stuffing it in there and tying it down. play with this a little bit. Actually, we're going to cut that off. Down here some. I think we're going to put it down here. I don't like it all the way up there. Let's go right in there. Come on. Nope. Back away from the sign. Up 
in here a little bit. No. Okay. Let's try this. We're going to come down from the top. Like a nut. This needs something down here. And this is too light, so let's go with a smaller piece like that put some cotton over top of it to kind of bring the color, the light off of the, the beige. Let's go with this one coming down this way. I think we need to get rid of the cotton and stick with the pink. That's what we'd be doing. Sticking with the pink. The other just flushes it out too much. Kind of getting in my zone, sorry. Sure, I can come in closer. How's that? Are you getting a double box? I think this is like a dogwood. Does that help, Dawn? Trying to get the two colors of leaves on there. And then what I could do is put some of the cotton. No, I'm not liking it. Cotton is not what we want. And I only have two of these, so um, let me get some pink flowers. these. kind of like this one up there, but I'm going to have to find another one. Or put that in the middle of the bow and then pull these coming down. Little 
ones look better. They're more delicate. It just it's it's the mesh the mesh is causing it to kind of fade out nope okay I could probably get this one in here but I'm gonna trim it up There. Now I got my triangle. Trying to get the variation of flower uh, leaves there. Let me try something get the smaller flowers down in here and I think these up there because then I can go one way there and another way there yeah leave that one there and put this one up here I'll go back and glue it for right now, I just kind of want to get a feel for where I want it to go. Yeah, I like that better. It supports it better up top. be putting one of my balls in there kind of sit that up a little better not sure about that yet I'm gonna play with it some more and I'll post a picture when I get it where I want it maybe Maybe these just aren't right for there. I think I kind of like it better plain. They are fuller, but plain. And let the sign be the decoration there. I think that's what we like. The sign and the mesh. Okay. What do you think? Thoughts? There, we'll stick, we'll stick a little cotton up here amongst the pink. 
that's where I think that needs to go. Yeah. You're welcome, Jean. I'm glad we try to do our best. And sometimes the first class just isn't. What did you think of the, the lighthouse? Did you like it? It is a beautiful sign. And we're going to do another contest. Because I that was just awesome. I had so much fun. You guys came up with so many great ideas. Okay, I think that's where we're going to leave it. I don't know. I kind of like this just, you know, maybe we need maybe just one down there. And for those of you that just jumped on, I'll show you the new signs. I don't know. I keep wanting to put one down here, but then when I get it there, it's, that doesn't look too bad, does it? What do you think? I'm loving these bow colors with that sign. That is just awesome. I did one with the cotton. I actually had mesh going here and then some fern and then um, the bow was here and then the cotton was this way. And it really turned out nice. It just, you just don't want to lose it in your mesh so but there we are i think we're good i think we got just a little pop color here and there i'm just not sure about this yet i may kind of maybe i just need a little a little bow there or something i'm, I'm just not liking this part and i don't know what i'm going to do to fix it yet maybe just Maybe just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to play with it some more. Thank you. Okay, so here's our newest, one of our newest signs. Let me pull you back out again. That says, um, stories, s'mores, laughs, and more. Cheater bows, I, I think you're right. I think that's what it needs. I think this needs to just go away and two little cheater bows. Or maybe kind of have it coming down this way and this one kind of coming up this way and a little cheater bow there. I don't know. Okay, this one, sunflowers. Welcome to our home. And then we've got what happens at the camp stays at the camp. <laughs> I, I love this one. I think it's cute. And then I found that frame and that just made it. Okay, then we have our big one. This one I can personalize. It says Camp Williams. Jen, Kenzie, Stephen, Taylor, and then we have Bear and Diesel. So that's my newest sign that can be personalized. We had to get the dogs in there. And then here's my newest one. This is called a bunting, this, this uh, shape. And I can personalize it with your initial. I can't wait to do this up. I made you, it has some really nice holes in it, already punched in it. We can put some nice roping and a bow and hang it from a door like it is. There's lots of stuff we could do with this. So those are my newest signs.
maybe a bow here and part of the tails coming out here. I don't think the pink. I'm thinking maybe the brown. Maybe that's too busy for the sign. So maybe, maybe this pink. I don't know yet. I gotta, I gotta think on it a little because it's not, this is not working for me. So, hey, Teresa. So I'll get these up on uh, Etsy, hopefully tomorrow. If anybody wants them ahead of time, just let me know. I only have 10 of these. These signs are so expensive. Um, way more than the others are, so. And this is a 12 inch, okay, and can be personalized however you want it. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate it. What happens at the camp stays at the camp. We've got a lot of campers out there. And then this is a smaller version of the big one, which can also be personalized however you want it. And then we've got welcome to our home. And then in June, we'll start a new contest. And um, you know what? Oh, I got an idea. I could just pull some of these colors and make them come down and drift out maybe. Just the smaller ones. Let's see how that looks. I could even take it down and behind and bring it out this way. <gasps> oh, thanks, Kathy. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring these down around. And attach them like that. Attach them here and have it come out this end. That's what we're doing, peoples. try that see how that works make our bows be our design. And actually, them come down like that and we'll put a little bow on this side a little cheater bow thank you thank you Jean I love how that one turned out too and I had a, a lady loved the little one and I said, you know, I can do that in a big one. And she's like, no way. I'm like, yes. So I think that's it. Floral wire. Yep, so that's how that one was born.
I'm so glad you guys could find me. Because I'm usually on Wednesdays at 2 and Mondays at 8. And like I said, this Monday, it just didn't feel right. So here we are. I'm pulling it through here like this. And don't forget, Willie's gone on tonight. Is it seven, Will? Okay, Willie's gone on at seven. Wall decor is wall decor, but I add the uh, add it. Guess <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> help, help me, Will. Help me. <laughs> wall decor by Faye. Right? And wait till you see the new sign she's using. Billy and Steve were getting into sign making. They caught the bug. <laughs> Daggone it. This thing is not going in. Well, we're just going to make it go in. There. That's what it needed. Hey, Joy's back. The big one's for sale, Jean. It's just not in my Etsy shop yet. I know we've got a lot of people out there that love camping. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Love, love, love. Aw, you guys are awesome. Jean, the big one, it's all personalized. It's a 12-incher. That one's running 25. The small one is running between 12 and 15, depending on how much personalization you want on it. The small one is an eight incher. You know what, this, this pink ribbon needs to go behind. There we go. Okay, what do you think of it like that? Brought this down, brought it through the back. Actually, we gotta tie this down. <laughs> All right, come on now. There we go. That's what I wanted it to do. I want this behind here and this over this way. There. And it's only because the sign is a 12 incher. And like I said, there's a lot of personalization on it. See, I knew if I played with it long enough, we'd come up with an idea. Thanks, Suze.
one more to get through and then we're good. I'd have to redirect that. I don't know. I think we need some brown in this bow too. So. Thanks. Thanks, Susie. I think we're only going to go with three. And let's pull this out this under. Yep, that's what it needed. Oh no. I gotta stick it again. I love this sign. I'm sorry guys. I do. I've had the design for a while and everything I put it against every color it just was not looking right and man when I put it against this pink today it just popped that where we want it. I think I'm going to have to bring that down just a little bit. Ugh, we're falling all over the place here. Okay. We are done. Except for some falling cotton that we've got to get back in there. I, I like the bow better than the than the greenery and I think it 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 looks much better. Look at me, I'm gonna be messing with it all night long. Alright. I think we're good. Huh? <gasps> the phone line? No, I'm I'm a day late. <laughs> This is my new sign. Home is where the crickets sing. Thank you, Vicki. I think this just... I, I think it was a good idea. Thanks for the idea, Suze. It needed... that The greenery down there wasn't cutting it. It just needed a little... Um, what do you call it? <laughs> And I got a hook up here, but it's not mounted yet. So, so I don't know. Maybe this doesn't need to be here. Maybe that could just be here. Yeah, that's it. There, with a little bit of ribbon. I mean, a little bit of. I still have to fix this. The sign. But I think that's, I think that's it, peoples. Oh, thanks, Arla. I can show you my new signs that, um, welcome to our home. Aw, oh, thanks, Nanny. It's Nanny Dot, everybody. Story, s'mores, laughs, and more. And then we've got what happens at the camp stays at the camp. I 
And then we've got the big kahuna. This is a personalized one. We have it in eight inch, the small, or in 12 inch with the um, tree. And then you can personalize it with, I can do any name on it. I even have a request for this sign. The lady has a dog, so she wants paw prints down here for the dog. And then she has a bird, a big bird. So we're gonna put him on the top of the sign so it looks like he's sitting on the sign, perched on the sign. And then this one, the new bunting signs. So they're my new ones. Oh, I'm, I'm just loving this now. That, that just, that was, that was it. That's what it needed. Just make it look like it continued and flows right out there. All right. I'm going to go have some dinner. And don't forget to tune in to Wall Decor by Faye at 7. She's going to be showing you her new sign. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Susie. All right, guys, you have a great evening. Um, probably be back on tomorrow um, at 2, so we'll get caught up, okay? Thanks for joining me. Have a good evening.